Bellator 292 featured one of the most unusual leg kicks I've ever seen. In this video, we're going to break down what exactly we're seeing here and what happened. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Dr. Brian Suter, and if you're new here but enjoy learning about the underlying anatomy and mechanisms of different sports injuries, then please consider subscribing to stay up to date with all future videos. It only took MVP a single kick to defeat Yamauchi earlier tonight at Bellator 292, and I gotta say, I don't know if I've ever seen a knee injury like this from a kick. Every time before this that we've seen a big fracture or leg injury after a kick, it's always the person doing the kicking oftentimes because they strike just at the right spot on their opponent's tibia and break their own leg. But here we can clearly see the injury is to MVP's opponent. Now, as he comes through here, the first thing that I was thinking when I saw this was potentially a patellar or a kneecap dislocation. Reason being, it's a much more common injury that we're going to see in sports. In this position, Yamuchi's already sort of compromised for a potential kneecap dislocation because his knee is in a little bit of this valgus position pointed inward. What that's going to do, if you imagine your quadriceps coming down to the patella and then the lower leg, there's basically a force or a pull on the kneecap to want to already move out lateral. So then whenever MVP's kick comes in from the inside a little bit towards the lateral component, I figured, yeah, it looks like maybe he forced the kneecap outwards. But then after really looking at the replay, I have second thoughts and think this is more of likely a fracture to the kneecap. When we look at our biodigital anatomy tool here, I've of course shown the patella or the kneecap in front of the knee. This is going to be the femur, the thigh bone with the tibia down lower. There's two tendons that come off of the patella. The one up top is going to be the quadriceps tendon, which of course runs up into the quadricep muscle. At the bottom, we're going to have the patellar tendon, which anchors the patella down into the tibial tuberosity. Those two tendons are going to put a tensile force through the kneecap, basically forcing it to want to pull apart. What can happen if you have either a rupture of the patellar tendon down here or of the quadriceps tendon, it's almost like cutting a rubber band that's been stretched. You have sort of this snapping where whatever's inside the rubber band is going to move to the opposite side of what was cut. So whenever an athlete has, for example, a patellar tendon rupture, we often see the kneecap translate superior because of that recoil force of the quadriceps muscle and tendon pulling it upwards. On the same hand, though, if you have a fracture through the patella, and it runs in what we call a transverse or horizontal position, you now have a fracture line with two forces basically pulling at opposite ends, pulling that fracture apart. So if it's displaced significantly enough, you might see these two fragments of the patella, specifically this superior fragment, pop upwards and result in sort of what we saw with this defect on Yamauchi's knee. Looking here at the side angle, pay attention to this contour at the front of Yamauchi's knee when the kick comes in. So here you can see MVP's kick is coming in, being delivered, lands seemingly right square on the anterior front portion of Yamauchi's knee, definitely potential right on the front of the kneecap. What we see then after that kick is released is that kneecap look like it's sort of moved kind of upwards higher up on his leg. We see a little bit of a defect down lower, potentially where that patellar tendon might now be slack or relaxed but it doesn't really look like we see the kneecap falling off lateral out to the side where it typically will if there's been a kneecap dislocation. Same kind of thing from this initial view. As Yamauchi's knee kind of comes in here, we see a couple of different bumps, a couple different contours here. What I suspect we're seeing there, this one here on the outside is going to be the lateral femoral condyle or the lateral bump of the thigh bone. We're then gonna have the medial femoral condyle here and then this is going to be patella sitting a little bit further proximal or higher up. Again, I suspect from either an injury to the patellar tendon or a fracture of the kneecap. The best case scenario here is that this is honestly a dislocation of his kneecap because often that's just some ligaments that are injured and as long as there's no big underlying cartilage defect or something like an ACL, those can actually heal pretty reliably and pretty well. However, if this is actually a fracture of the kneecap or an injury to his patellar tendon, that's something that can oftentimes require surgery, especially when it's in these transverse or horizontal orientations. Definitely an unusual injury, something that I don't think I've ever seen the person delivering the kick cause a knee injury in someone else. We've seen things like ligament, collateral ligament injuries from the knee buckling one way or the other, but to actually potentially break the bone of your opponent that you're kicking, something I've definitely never seen in the sport. That's it for the video, everybody. Let me know as always your questions or comments down below. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.